Hello, my name is Miss Hannah. For those who don't know me, this is my helper today, Leah. We are going to do a pre-ballet dream class for you. So I've been talking with Miss Amy. She's been sharing with me what she's been working on in your current class. And then I've also added some things that I thought would be fun for you guys to work on over the next couple of weeks since we can't be with you in person. So we're going to try to treat this almost like a little movie where basically you get to press play, do the class with us. I'll try not to stop too much. And uh, that way you have something to follow along with as you're doing the class. You're welcome to ask a family member to join in and teach them how to do some ballet or just do it on your own. It's totally up to you. All you'll need is a little bit of clear space. So it could be in your kitchen, maybe your family room or basement. And then you will need access to hold on to something. We're going to use our bars since we're at the studio, but you can use a kitchen counter, a chair, uh, the edge of your bed, a dresser, anything that you can put your hand on that's somewhere around hip to shoulder height. Something just to help you hold your balance. And then we'll come into the center and do some stretches and center exercises just like we normally do. So I ask that you go ahead and wear your leotard and tights, put your hair up and your shoes on just like Leah. So we still practice the things that we like to do as we get ready for ballet class. We keep those rituals going. Um, I hope you have fun. We'll see you hopefully soon. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to put our left hand on the bar, our feet in first position. We're going to lift our stomachs up. We're going to tuck that rear end under. Nice shape to the hand. Lift the thighs up. Roll the shoulders back. Head to the side. I'll call the combination as Leah does it. And then we'll keep going directly to the other side. So let's start with our plies. Foot, 
twisted and head to the side. We're going to do four tendus each way. We're going to go to the front four times, then we're going to go to the side four times, and the back four times. All right, here we go.
other side, same thing on the left. So first position, fingers together, thumb hip, point your point your finger, stepping tall, and tawn your front shoulder, heel to the ceiling, open side shoulder toes, who's first? Front shoulder, heel to the ceiling.
and I'll be right there. Toes, then the whole foot, just the foot. 
ahead the legs. For some people this is easy, for some people this is tricky. Stay down, keep those toes zipped together, knees zipped together, good, hold, hold, slowly roll up, good, shake those legs out. Let's go ahead and open our legs to second position. I'm gonna scoot back, you stay where you are. So legs are to the side. Wherever your second position is, is fine. You don't have to force it really open. We want to remember to have our three rules. Knees straight, toes pointed, pinky toes toward the floor. Now lift your chest. We're going to bring the hands to the front. Walk your hands forward and stop. Check. Look at your right knee. Is it straight? What about those toes? Are they pointed? Look at your left. Straight and pointed. Walk your hands a little more forward and freeze. Check that right leg. Straight and pointed. Left leg. Let's go our final bit. Reach forward. Check your three rules. Knees, toes, pinky toe. Knee, toe, pinky toe. And walk those hands in. Bring your legs together. Shake them out. We're going to do that one more time. Open your legs. Maybe you can go a teeny bit farther. Knees, toes, pinky toes. Lifting your chest tall. Point those feet hard. Yes. This time we're going to add a little port de bras side to side. Fingers together. Hide your thumb, arms down. We're going to bring our right arm up. We're going to tilt our body to the side, keeping those toes pointed. Come up and change. Other arm on top. Lean to the other side, keeping those feet pointed. And come up. Let's do that one time on each side again. Make sure you keep your sits bones on the floor. Keep your back pockets on the floor. And up. Change. Down. Pockets on the floor. Good. Bring your legs together. Shake them out. Now this stretch feels really good. We call this the pretzel. Rest. Did you 
arms front and side from first. Heels in first, hands on hips.
secret ballet rule that we're sharing with the adults now since they're helping us do our ballet class. So when we land, Leah, do it wrong. Loud, horrible, ugly, sounds like elephants. Now, Debbie, plie. Like a mouse. Don't even know you're in the room. So we're going to tumble in first. We're going to tumble in second. And we're adding a new one today. We're going to tumble in third. So Leah, show us what that looks like. Demi plie, jump, and we're going to land just back where we started. The tricky part is going to be to not land on your own self. So if you do that, it means that your feet were facing to the front instead of toes to the side. So make sure when you do this jump combination, you keep your toes facing side so you don't land on your own foot. All right, first position, hands on hips. As always, we do tucking in, rear end in. Go ahead and bring hands to hips. That's it. Right foot, right front, face five. 
meditation is going to be practicing our spotting. This helps us to keep from getting dizzy. So students, you can practice this by looking at a parent, um, an adult, a sibling, a dog, a picture on the wall, something, anything you want. Leah is going to practice looking right at the camera. So Leah, you're going to have to spot right there. Or you could look through the mirror and spot the picture on the wall that you can see. But the point is, is that we leave our head and then we snap and bring it around. So we always keep our eyes on the prize. We call this Russian turn. The arms are here, nice and crossed. I like to say we don't have a headache. We don't have a bellyache. We have strong arms. So as we do our turns, we try not to let the arms go up and down. We keep them strong. We keep that tummy pulling. Back up tall. And we're going to kick our feet. Try to kick our rear with our toes. We're at ballet class, so we're not going to do heel. We're going to do toe, toe, exactly. So we're going to do Russian kicks, no turn, five, six, seven, eight. Russian kicks, turn to the right, five, six, seven, eight. Russian kicks, no turn, five, six, seven, eight. Russian kicks to the left, turn, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll call it. You listen to me. Leah, go ahead and find your spot, and then we'll get started. Here we go. Tummy top, elbows wide, kick in place, eight times, kick.
groups. So we will pretend to be one of the two people. I'll pretend to be the other. Um, we'll just stay kind of on a diagonal maybe so they can see. That's a good idea. Okay, so what we do in this game called Mirrors is we try to mirror each other. And you pick one person to be the choreographer. I'll be the choreographer first. And the other person is the mirror. They are the copier. So whatever the choreographer does, the mirror has to copy. So we start arms down, hands by our sides. And it can be something as simple as this. But you have to watch very closely so that you try to move at the same time. So if somebody was watching you, they might think that you were looking at you you were looking at yourself in a mirror and you were moving at the same time. So it looks like one person moving. So the fun part is to take turns. So I'll play a piece of music, I'll stop it halfway through during the pause, we'll change places, and then I'll resume the music for you to keep going. So Leah and I will step to the side, we'll let you have the floor and have fun with mirrors.